there is an abundance of power on the floor of the Geneva Motor Show this year and we're not talking only about the hypercar scene. German tuner Brabus brought out the big guns this year and they introduced the Rocket 900 model to a live audience for the first time in Switzerland. Yes, this might not be the perfect place to unveil such a monstrous German creation as the country they are currently in is known for its peaceful ways and stern neutrality. The Brabus Rocket 900 is an S65 AMG at its core that had its 6-liter V12 twin turbo plant drastically upgraded to give a new meaning to the land rocket metaphor. That's because unlike the stock car, the upgraded version now has 900 HP and 1,106 lb feet, 1,500 Nm, of torque at its disposal, numbers that simply put to shame the original 621 HP and 738 lb feet, 1,000 Nm, of twist. Wondering how those figures were possible? Well, the tuners bored the engine block to 6.3, liters and they also added a new set of turbochargers that were developed in-house. A new exhaust system and, of course, a new ECU map are all the tricks they needed to get it up to such copious amounts of power. The differential at the back had to be changed to cope with the extra muscle and so was the transmission that was limited to 1200 Nm, 885 lb feet, of torque. The end result is a car that can accelerate to 100 km per hour, 62 mph, in 3.7 seconds and go up to a top speed of 217 mph, 350 km per hour. But wait, there's more. The Brabus 850 S Class Coupe. If the sedan shape is not your style, Brabus has an alternative in the shape of the S63 AMG coupe based 850 HP by Turbo Monster. That's right, they created a coupe as well. As the name suggests, this time we're dealing with a car that has only 850 HP coming out from under the bonnet. Being based on the S63 instead of the S65, this thing has a different engine too, that was also heavily modified. Starting from the stock 5.5, liter by turbo v8 the guys bored this block 2 to 59 liters and changed the intake turbos ecu and exhaust to get to the figure in the car's name torque now sits at 848 lb feet 1150 nm a figure that is actually electronically limited to keep the mark from destroying itself the gearbox was unaltered and the 4 matic all-wheel drive was also kept along that means that 62 mph, 100 km per hour, comes up on the speedometer 3.5 seconds after launching while the top speed is limited to 350 km per hour, 217 mph, as well due to tire limitations. So, which one is your favorite?